Welcome back. I'm going to assume that you now know how to create and share a folder. Uh, let's go to the next step, which is creating a document within that folder, which um, you'll share uh, automatically with your teacher because it's in your folder. So we're going to look at creating a document and formatting it according to MLA. So let's say we go into Smith English, which is our shared folder. And then now that we're in it, you can see the breadcrumbs along the top, My Drive, Smith English. We're inside there. So anything we create will be in that folder. You go to Create, Document. And this is what you'll use to write any documents that you want to make. So the first thing to do is name it. Let's say this is your practice. Make these simple. Titles should be interesting. Document file names should be boring and specific. So we'll say Smith Practice. Because this is your practice essay. All right, now you have to make sure you're at MLA formatting. The first thing you want to do is make the font bright. Arial, nope, we want Times New Roman. And it's set to 11 as your default. You want 12. Okay. Now, double spacing over here. So double spacing is here. Line spacing. Make sure you select 2.0 or double. And then 12 point times new Roman font. So there you're all set on that. Now the next thing, do the complicated things first um, so that you don't have to worry about them when you're done. You want to insert your page numbers. And you want to make sure that your page numbers change with every page. So rather than putting in a number, you uh, hit insert page numbers and it just puts that automatic field there, this little gray box. Don't delete it or move it because then you'll mess it up and it'll just be a regular number again. But we'll say my name is Smith 1 and now every page will start with Smith 1, Smith 2, Smith 3. And that's what you call your header here. See this little line that separates the header which it will this is a, an element that repeats on every page. So now go to the top left and this is where you start to introduce yourself on the paper to make it easy to sort so let's say I'm John Smith Mr. Worden I'm writing this for myself English 1 and the date in MLA is day month year so 28 August 2013 and then down to the next line and only one line in between you don't want to waste space and then you center justify. These buttons here are for your al alignment left. Everything sticks to the left side of the page. Center sticks to the right and then spreads out to uh, justify in the middle. So you basically want to just go back and forth between center and right for these kind of things. And center and left, sorry. And fancy practice title. Come up with something interesting for a title. Often I don't come up with a real title till I've written the essay and then I lift a little bit of, an, of a cool quote or a line from the essay and it makes a great title. So then you want to indent your first paragraph and then you write your great paragraph and everyone loves it. Um, good, and then you keep writing, keep writing blah 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 yay um, if you want to quote something then you do it this um, in this format you say let's say we're doing a quote from acceleration um, Roach is a bad guy he likes to kill people this is really simplified but just kind of an idea Here's your, your topic sentence, and then that's a little support. Why is he a bad guy? He likes to kill people. Now we've got to prove it. He said to Duncan, I'm going to kill you. Um, and then, what was it, McNamee 125. I don't have the book in front of me right now, so I'm just making this up. Um, and I'm just going back a little bit to make this clearer what I want to do acceleration and remember titles are always italicized or underlined I prefer italics I think they look nicer and the period goes outside the parentheses so there we have a quote that we are citing now let's say we've written a whole essay about all this stuff and we want to um, create a, a works cited entry. That's always the last page at the very top, works cited. Go down a line, back to the left, and then find one of your handy dandy um, 
citation generators. I prefer Citation Machine. I think it's nice and simple. Um, actually, I, what I really like is Noodle Tools. But Noodle Tools is a little bit more complicated, and that's a, something for a different different day. So, um, you go to MLA. That's what we want to create an MLA uh, citation. Get rid of the pop-up. It's a book. And then it shows you um, if you have the ISBN number, you can just plug it in there and it'll fill in everything for you. Um, otherwise, last name, that's a good, Graham, good, I've already done this once, so it's auto-filling for me. Details of the book, these are extra stuff. If you don't know them, you don't. we don't care. The big ones that you do care about for regular books is, are the ones I'm putting in right now. New York, Random House is the publisher, and what was it, 2003? Okay, and it was print. We actually read a real book. So all that's plugged in. You make the citation, and there we have a lovely little citation. And it's in plain text. If you want to make it into a PDF, you can, but well, I don't see why you would. And then it tells you what to write when you're quoting. We already did that part. So then you go back to your Smith practice, works cited, control V or command V if you're on a Mac, and make sure that you've got the same font. Sometimes the font changes. But that's perfect. So that's basic um, basic MLA formatting in a nutshell. And since you made this in your shared folder, um, we can just exit it out. We don't uh, need to save it because Google saves automatically. Go back into your shared folder. Smith Practice is inside Smith English and Smith English is already shared with your teacher so the teacher already has it. How cool is that?